Hello friends, I am Carly. In this video, I will show two simple methods for creating a new Apple ID on your iPad. So, let's watch the video till the end. Please note that you can only create a new Apple account or an email address ending with iCloud.com from a Mac, iPhone, or iPad. In this first method, I am creating iCloud.com Apple ID on iPad using the Settings app. Launch the Settings app on your iPad. Tap on Apple account to sign in or create a new account. Then, click on Don't have an Apple account. Here, you need to enter your information, such as your first name, last name, and birth date. Click the drop-down arrow and select your birth year and month. After that, choose date. Then, hit the Continue button. After that, enter your email address ending with iCloud.com. Keep the toggle turned on next to Announcements and click the Continue button. If you see pop-up that says your email address taken, your Apple ID could not be created because this email account is no longer available. To fix this issue, click OK and enter another unique Apple ID mail address. Then, hit the Continue button. Again, a pop-up may appear to confirm your email address. You can't change after creating it. So, select Create Email Address to confirm. Then, you see the Apple Account Password page. Create a strong password of 8 characters long using a number, uppercase, and lowercase ladder. Then, re-enter the same password to verify and hit the Continue button. The next page opens for phone numbers. Select your country code and enter your phone number, which can be used to verify with a text message or phone call. Then, select Verify using text or phone call and press Continue. After that, enter the verification code, review it, and agree to the terms and conditions. That's it. Now, let's move to the next method. From Apple's website. Using this method, we can create Apple ID using different email address that does not end with iCloud.com, such as a Gmail, Yahoo, or any other email domain. Because we can't create iCloud.com, Apple hosted, email addresses from Apple's website. Visit the website displayed on the video screen. Click on the sign in button. If you have previously created an Apple ID, you can sign in with a password. After that, two options are available. Forgot your password and create an Apple account. Click on create Apple account. After that, Enter your details, such as name, country, birth date, email address not ending with iCloud.com, and password. Create a strong password that includes uppercase, lowercase, special characters, and numbers. The password should be 8 characters long. After a while, open the drop-down menu to Country Options and select Country Code. In mainland China, you might need to provide a plus 86 phone number for your Apple account. You can update this number later or switch your country or region to one that doesn't require it. This number is solely for verification purposes. Enter your phone number and select either text message or phone call verification type. After that, tick the checkbox next to announcements. This will keep you updated with the latest news, products, software, and services from Apple. Next, tick the checkbox next to apps music, TV, and more. Turning on this setting helps you receive Apple emails and communications, including new releases, offers, and recommendations for apps, music, books, movies, podcasts, and more. Tap on the new code to generate a new capture code. Type the same characters into the capture code and hit the continue button. Then, follow the on-screen video steps and verify your email address and phone number. After successful verification, you can sign in to your new Apple account to use Apple services from the App Store and iCloud. That's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for the latest tips and tricks videos.